Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dr. Dana Ryan here from Torrance, our Herbalife offices. Um, welcome to my little office. This is where I spend most of my time uh, when I'm not out meeting all of you guys on the road. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, as you guys know, we're gonna be talking today about protein, the new Herbalife 24 Enhanced Protein Powder, answering some of your guys' questions. I know there's a lot of questions. I know there's some confusion about this product, how to use it, who's it for, is it for me, is it for my friend, how do I use it? So hopefully in the next 10, 15 minutes or so, we're gonna address some of your questions, get rid of all the confusion about the Enhanced Protein Powder um, so that you guys feel comfortable and know how to use it on a daily basis. So just as a reminder, we're taking live questions. If you see me checking my phone, I'm not just sending text messages. I'm looking at the questions that are coming in. So I'm here with our social media team. So they're gonna be feeding me some questions as well. So if anything comes up as we're chatting, feel free to just send a note, send a message, and we will try and get to as many questions. So to get started, a new Herbalife 24 Enhanced Protein Powder. What is it? How do I use it? So before we get into that, I think it's important to note that as with all of the Herbalife 24 products, it's NSF for sport tested. So what that means is that it's third party verified for all banned substances, okay? And it also certifies the label claim. And while you might think like, okay, I'm not a professional athlete and I'm never gonna get drug tested, why do I care? It's really the gold standard in the industry in terms of verifying that what is on the label is actually in the canister. And I think, it may sound silly that we have to do that, but it's amazing how many bad apples are out there, right? So it's just another level of comfort. All right, hey again. So sorry about that quick break, technical issues that sometimes happens with me. So I apologize, we will keep rolling and sorry if we have any other intermissions, but we will make sure we come right back. So leaving off where we were, enhanced protein powder. So New Herbalife 24 product, like we were saying before, NSF for sport tested, it just gives you another level of comfort that what is in this canister is actually what is on the label. And you know there's no artificial flavors, sweeteners, or ingredients in any of the early 24 products. So getting down to it, what is this? How do I use it? And kind of as a base, it's a really versatile product. Okay, so there's lots of different ways that you can use this product. And what I'm gonna focus on today is my two favorite ways. Okay, so yes, you can add it to another shake as a booster. Okay, you can use it as a base for a shake with fruit and milk. But for me, there's two things that really, really set this apart. And that's adding it to food. Okay, so you can take a pancake, right? And by adding the EPP to it, you can add 24 grams of protein and enhance the quality of those pancakes by adding additional protein. Okay, so great way to do that, whether, you know, it's cottage cheese or oatmeal or whatever you're adding it to, you're gonna see a lot of really cool recipes that the amazing Susan Bowerman has worked on. So keep an eye out for those. But I think that's really a great way to use this, is this taking food that you're already having and just upping the protein content. Because we know that having good quality protein throughout the day is really, really important, okay? You know, I think, you know, if any of you guys have been to the trainings that I've done, my challenge is always to think outside the box in terms of who needs protein. Right. Often we think protein is for that guy or girl that's going to the gym that's trying to build muscle and get the six pack. But the reality is, is protein is really important for every single person every day. Right. So take the person that's trying to lose weight. Okay. When you're trying to lose weight, not only does consuming high protein snacks help keep you full, but by consuming protein, it's going to help you build lean muscle. When you build lean muscle, you increase your metabolism. When you increase your metabolism, it helps you start to get to those body composition goals that you're looking for faster. So whether it's the six pack, whether it's losing weight, you really wanna have good quality protein. But the last group that we don't talk a lot about is that aging adult, the older adult, okay? As we get older, just one of the facts of life is we start to lose muscle mass, okay? And when you start to lose muscle mass, it can lead to a whole host of issues, whether it's balance problems or strength issues. And so by maintaining muscle mass as you age, it really can help you with a lot of daily functions. But to do that, not only do you need exercise, but you need protein, okay? So finding different ways to incorporate protein throughout your day is gonna make a huge impact on your daily life, right? So 
Think of this as a way to really enhance the protein that you're getting through the day by adding it to different foods and different recipes that you might already be making. But probably my favorite way to use this product is at night before you go to bed. Okay, so you can think of this as your bedtime shake, right? So two scoops, so just keep in mind, two scoops is actually one serving. Okay, so if you look at the back, it's gonna tell you two scoops is 24 grams of protein, okay? Keep in mind on this chart, when we're saying how many grams of protein you're getting, that's just from the EPP, okay? So if you're adding milk, you're gonna add about another nine grams and you're gonna be more around 33 grams, okay? So two scoops is one serving. You can certainly use one scoop and get your 12 grams of protein, it's great. Two scoops, 24 grams of protein with milk at night is probably my favorite way to use this. So not only does this add a new day part for you and give you a bedtime shake, but the reason why it's so good is because it has so much of what we call casein protein, okay? And casein protein is utilized by the body very slowly. And so we know through research that it actually helps support building muscle throughout the night, okay? So with all of the athletes that we work with, you know, we've used things like cottage cheese or milk, stuff like that at night that gives them casein protein to help support that muscle building throughout the night. But now this is the perfect option that I'm gonna use with all of our athletes to make sure that they're getting the casein protein to help support their muscles rebuild as they're sleeping, which is when the body's actually really resting and really starting to recover. So that's kind of in a nutshell, the way I would use it, add it to food, keep an eye out for those recipes that I promise you are coming soon. Um, and use it at night, right? So really, really great option to use it at night. And it's not replacing anything else you're already doing, it's just adding good quality protein for you at night, okay? So hopefully that kind of clarifies the overview of what this product is. The social team is nodding their head. So I think that means we can go to questions. <laughs> they seem convinced. So questions, and I think this is where we get into the tricky part, right? We've, we're clear what this is. 24 grams of protein, no added sugars. Um, it's, you know, got basically a blend of five different types of dairy protein, okay? So the biggest question I've gotten is this versus this. Is this a post-workout? No, okay? This is not a post-workout. We know, and if you check, if you go back and follow on the Herbalife 24 Instagram and Facebook, you'll find videos that we've done before kind of on the science of post-workout and this idea that you need carbohydrates plus protein, okay? So Revo Strength is certainly gonna be your go-to post-workout, right? It's got a pretty even ratio of carbohydrates to protein. Super easy post-workout because you just need two scoops, water, shaker cup, and you're good to go, okay? So this is gonna give the body what it needs to recover from your workout, okay? If you're doing a heavier endurance workout, and I get this question all the time, like, what happened to rebuild endurance? I'm an endurance athlete, can I use strength? Absolutely, okay? No matter what type of athlete you are, you want at least 20 grams of protein post-workout combined with carbohydrates, right? So this is gonna be a great option for any type of workout, and if you're doing an endurance workout, you actually wanna add more carbohydrates to it. So whether it's a soccer game where you've gone for a bike ride or a swim, or if you're training for the Life 24 Triathlon Los Angeles, which I know you guys all are, especially the ones of you that live here. I know I'll see all of you on the course this weekend. Um, you wanna add carbs to this when you're done, okay? So I would say this is your go-to post-workout, okay? That, that doesn't change, right? This is a way to add more protein throughout your day, okay? So this is not gonna replace this. You know based on science that we need carbs plus protein, okay? So this doesn't have any carbs in it, so it's not really what your body's gonna need to recover and rebuild itself post-workout, okay? So hopefully that clarifies this post-workout, food, nighttime, any other daytime shake, but really nighttime, post-workout, okay? Let's see, let's check the phone. I know we've been getting some questions coming in. Um, how much protein is there in one serving? So 24, but keep in mind that's two scoops. Okay, so one scoop is technically half a serving, which is 12 grams of protein. Two scoops, one is 24 grams of protein. Okay. 
Um, do you use it before or after exercise? Hopefully we made that clear. Um, Rebuild Strength is your go-to after exercise. I would stick to your prepare before your workout, maybe your lift off, um, your series seven drive during. Um, this is gonna be your after. And this, again, this, think of the name of it. It enhances, right? So it's enhanced protein power. So it's taking what you're doing during your day already and taking it to another level. And that's why I really like using it at night because it's taken everything that you've done throughout the day, supported that, and now given you the nutrients that your body needs before you go to sleep. So hopefully that is a good answer. Um, in what situation would I add to rebuild? Great question. So one of the things that we train on is that post-workout, you want about 20 to 40 grams of protein, okay? So if you look at the label, rebuild strength has 24 grams of protein. We look at one serving here, it's about 24 grams of protein. So if you do one serving and one serving, you're over your 40 grams of protein, right? So from a muscle building perspective, it's not gonna do anything for you to go over 40 grams of protein. If you want to add, if you're you know, bigger, right? So we work with a lot of American football players, big guys, like we're talking 250, 300, over 300 pounds. I will give them more protein after workout. So I would do, one scoop of this, 12 grams of protein in a serving, and now you've got 36 grams of protein. So you're still within that window, um, but added a little bit of protein, okay? Um, can you drink this even if you're on a weight loss plan? So everything that we do is about balance, right? So it's about the energy that we're expending, so through exercise, through moving around, combined with what we're putting into our body, right? So fuel, the food is energy. So it's the energy in versus the energy that's coming out. And so there's absolutely no reason why you can't use this if you're trying to lose weight, okay? But just keep in mind that it, you know, if you're watching your calories, just replace what you were already doing, right? And not add it on top, right? So this is 120 calories. So if you use it at night before you go to bed, just make sure you recognize that you're using 100, your, read the name of the question. Rename it. Oh, rename it, oh, sorry. I'm trying to get, I'm not that smart. I'm trying to get instructions from other people in the room, sorry. Uh, so Thoroughlife 24 Enhanced Protein Powder. Um, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, weight loss, absolutely, right? So just make sure that you're keeping in mind that you know you're adding an additional 120 calories to your day. And if you're adding it with milk, you're adding more calories. If you're blending it with fruit, you're adding even more calories, right? So just keep that in mind. But again, remember what we talked about at the beginning, which is protein's really important for that weight loss journey, okay? So if you take this at night before you go to bed, help support that muscle building process, then you're gonna build lean muscle, it's gonna help increase your metabolism, and ultimately that's gonna help you with your weight loss goals, right? So you're active, you're moving around, your body needs protein, so certainly something that can be part of the weight loss journey. And I think it's important to note that that goes for all of the Herbalife 24 products. It's probably the biggest question that I get, or the biggest comment, actually, that I get is, I'm gonna switch to Herbalife 24 when I'm at my ideal weight, or when I'm an athlete. Nothing could be further from the truth, right? It really can help you on your weight loss journey. You know, and keep in mind, this is, you know, something if, I've ever had the opportunity to meet you in person or you follow anything on Instagram, you know the big thing for me is getting you to see yourself as an athlete, right? So there's an athlete that lives within every single one of us. So whether you're running around chasing your kids in the park, playing, you're burning a lot of calories. Just because you don't have time to go to the gym doesn't mean you're not working activity into your daily life. And when you do that, you've got to have this athletic mindset. And when you do that, you're gonna make the right choices to help fuel your body properly. So, you know, when you see this and it says a 24 hour athlete, I really challenge you guys to think of yourself as an athlete because you're probably doing a lot more throughout the day than you're even giving yourself credit for. So, you know, that was a little tangent, but I think it's really, really important that you really embrace that idea and embrace it for everyone that you're working with and really encourage them and challenge them to start seeing themselves as an athlete. And then you'll find that these products easily fit into your daily routine, okay? Um, so next question, you know, we'll kind of wrap it up here in a few minutes. What 
is the difference between PPP, enhanced protein powder, protein drink mix. Okay, so again, Herbalife 24, no artificial flavors, sweeteners, anything like that, NSF for sport tests. So that's gonna be a big difference. When we look at the personalized protein powder, you can go to the back and you can see that when we're looking at the amount of protein, it's five grams of protein, okay? So five grams in one serving versus 24 grams, right? So big difference just in terms of the amount of protein. Also, you're gonna see a difference in the type of protein. So this is a blend of soy and whey. Soy and whey protein. And so for those people or those consumers that don't want a soy protein, this is gonna be a great option that doesn't actually have any soy in it. So certainly both great products that are versatile that you can use. But again, the big difference, five grams of protein, 24 grams of protein, okay? When it comes to the protein drink mix, I think you guys all know when you add this to a shake, it's gonna change the texture and make it a little bit thicker and creamier. You're not gonna see that as much with this. So you're gonna see a big difference in the texture when it comes to using the PDM versus using the enhanced protein powder. Um, 15 grams of protein per serving. So again, you're still getting more protein with this. Okay, um, let me check a couple last questions and I think we will wrap it up. So good question. Um, can I add it to Formula One? Yes, okay. You can certainly add this to Formula One. So you can add it to Formula One, you can add it to Formula One Sport. Okay, just keep in mind that if you're adding one serving, you're adding 120 calories, you're adding the 90 from your Formula One, and then you're adding whatever else you're putting in. So whether it's milk or fruit. So just make sure that you're accurate in counting the amount of calories because what you don't wanna do is, you know, be thinking that you're taking 100, and 20 calorie shake when you've added this to formula one now you're over 200 calories you add some milk you add some fruit and now you're looking at more like a 350 400 calorie shake right so just keep that in mind so you certainly can um, but again everything about balancing the energy you're putting in your body with the amount of activity that you're you're expending during the day so you know kind of just as a quick recap I know it was a lot of information I hope that it's more clear now uh, but for me best way to use this food so like I said you'll see lots of recipes from the amazing Susan Bowerman coming out soon um, and use it at night as this is you know everything that we try and do with the Herbalife 24 line we learn from these athletes that we work with right so we work with all these amazing athletes around the world and we try and figure out what does the human body need okay we understand that we learn that and then we bring it to you and I think there's no better example of that than what we see with this product Right, so for years I've been giving athletes some form of casein protein at night, whether it's cottage cheese or ice cream or milk, and now this is a great, easy way to do it. So this, with water or milk at night, before you go to bed, helps support that muscle building process throughout the night. So not a replacement for this guy. Rebuild Strength is still gonna be there for you post-workout. This just enhances your day, okay? so. Thank you guys all for joining in. Feel free to continue to send questions, comments. We'll answer them in stories, I think, um, on the 24 account. I'll probably answer some on my account as well. So um, definitely keep sending the questions. We wanna make sure you guys are super crystal clear on how to use this, because I think there's a lot of great ways to use it and a lot of great ways to add value to your day. So again, for all of you guys that are in LA and for all you guys that are traveling to LA this week, We've got amazing global athletes coming from all around, all corners of the world to race in the Herbalife 24 Triathlon Los Angeles. Um, we've got a bunch of amazing distributors, customers, executives. We're all gonna be there. There's also 5K. If you're like, triathlon, it's not my thing. Maybe I'll do it next year, but I can maybe do a 5K. I can maybe walk a 5K. Perfect. There's literally something for everyone. So we'll be around. There's gonna be an amazing recovery zone. Um, so come check it out. Los Angeles is gonna be branded Herbalife, Herbalife 24. So it's a great opportunity to come out, show your pride, get some activity in, and then feel yourself like the athlete that you guys all are. So thank you again and have a wonderful day.